Johanna Ngeno. Is Omar Minyi here? Yes, go ahead. Give to Ngeno the mic you've given one behind him. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. How long, how long is your statement? Pardon, sir. How long is your statement? Just a few minutes. Pardon? Three minutes. Okay. Two, and two minutes is enough. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mr. Speaker. Um, pass you into the provision of starting order number 442C. The Honorable Omar uh, Mwinyi, MP, uh, requested for a statement from the chairperson of the Departmental Committee on Housing, Urban Planning and Public Works, regarding the management of houses and treatment of tenants on estates in Mombasa County owned by the NHC, National Housing Corporation, on 25th October 2023. Uh, the committee wrote to the Cabinet Secretary, uh, Ministry of Lands and Housing, uh, vid a letter ref reference number NADDC HUP 2023-031 dated 27 October 2023. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, inviting them, we wrote this letter inviting them to submit the response on the matter raised by the, by the statement. And the response, Mr. Speaker, was forwarded to the committee by the Cabinet Secretary on 27th. November 2023, of which I beg to submit. Mr. Speaker, <clears throat> among the issues which uh, Mushmiwa Omar raised, Mr. Speaker, are, are fairly answered by the Cabinet Secretary. Uh, number one, which was the essential amenities and facilities that developers of affordable housing and building on spaces or spaces must provide to tenants. Mr. Speaker, the CS replied to that that it is a responsibility of NHC, responsibility of the State Department to ensure that all the houses which are occupied by tenants have all the amenities and, um, and, and all the facilities that are meant to be uh, accorded to the tenants. Mr. Speaker, on question number two, which was actually taken, was the steps taken by the government to ensure that all waste, water and efficient and um, affluent from a sewerage system in a state in Mombasa owned by the National Housing Corporation in Changamu constituency are addressed. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the CS also answered to that question, which of course uh, enumerated all the cooperation between the State Department and the NHC and the Mowasco, which is Mombada, Mombasa Water sewerage and uh, sewerage company, which they are in cooperation in ensuring that all these amenities and facilities are provided for in those particular housing projects. Question number three, Mr. Speaker, which was seeking clarification on whether the NHC, the NEMA, um, has developed regulations on management of toxic and hazardous sewerage flow from the broken system and how they are implemented. Mr. Speaker, uh, the CS also replied to those questions, and I believe the answers are fairly, fairly clear. And, and the member, unless, Mr. Speaker, there are so many other issues which mem the member might raise, I, I think the answer there, Mr. Speaker, is fairly clear. On question number four, Mr. Speaker, which I also felt needed some serious and deep um, 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 investigation into that matter is the matter which the member raised on the issue or actions which may have been taken against uh, NHC for poor management of the estate, the constant harassment of residents living in the area or in the estate, including threats of eviction, uh, sexual harassment, corruption allegations, rental areas, disputes and hazardous or harmonization, access to purchase houses, ongoing projects without approval, Theft and injuries, security lights, social amenities, and lack of public participation. Mr. Speaker, I have read the response by the CS, and, um, and, and one of the responses, Mr. Speaker, was that um, there has not been, there is no action preferred against the NHC by anybody, Mr. Speaker, and therefore, 
if there was an issue and, and, and any formal um, complaint by anybody through, through either criminal or any other matter, Mr. Speaker, I think the NHC should have responded or would have responded. But on the issue, Mr. Speaker, since my committee, my committee actually visited um, the housing project uh, in, in Changamo, Mr. Speaker, on 24th of June, 2023, and we took time as a speaker to listen to the member of parliament uh, representing Jagamwe and also members of the public who are living or tenants who are living in those particular houses in the speaker and there were so many issues which were raised and in conclusion i i i am in agreement that there are some issues that needs further investigation so that we can understand especially the issue of tenants who have been um living in those particular houses in the speaker and some of the some of the original tenants some of them might have passed on, leaving their children behind. And these children maybe are not employed and they cannot pay or continuously pay for the, uh, these particular services or pay for the, the rents on those particular houses in the speaker. And I thought maybe we, we need to have a further discussion on this so that we can ensure that those people are not unfairly evicted from those particular homes. Mr. Speaker, I think um, um, I, I think I will... Uh, I'll end there, Mr. Speaker, by saying that um, the answer to some of the issues which were raised by the member is what the State Department is trying to do, Mr. Speaker, building houses, affordable housing, and doing what we call tenant purchase programs, which instead of actually renting a house, Mr. Speaker, and on retirement you leave the house to the owners, Mr. Speaker, the program of tenant purchase means that you, you, you pay rent, but towards purchase of that particular house, so that when you retire or when you die, whichever comes first, Mr. Speaker, the house remains as a property of your, of your children. So I think that is a program which the Ministry or State Department is working on to ensure that it is not just about renting those houses and when you retire, you leave nothing to your siblings. Mr. Speaker, I submit. Oh, Madam Wenyi, satisfied? Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, Chairman Ngeno is a good friend of mine. Uh, we've been together in this house for the last uh, uh, three terms, and I respect him as my colleague. However, the issue of national housing, Mr. Speaker, in Changamwe is more than what the chair has actually alluded to. The last time they visited, which is just about four months ago, in the presence of the, of the CS, Mr. Speaker, and the whole committee, they saw for themselves new houses have been constructed for five stories, Mr. Speaker, yet there is no provision for water for these new units. People have to come down to the ground floor to fetch water and take them manually up to the fifth floor. They saw for themselves, Mr. Speaker, that the sewage was wanting. They also heard and verified that National Housing Corporation is not cooperating with its tenants. It is behaving in a rogue manner, Mr. Chairman. I have videos here, Mr. Speaker, of the National Housing Corporation passing bulldozers in between houses while constructing their new units without even involving the, the tenants themselves. So this is very inhuman. This is exactly what is happening in Palestine, Mr. Speaker. They are claiming that they are involving the Changame people wherever they want to do any, anything. It is actually false, Mr. Speaker. Ask for clarification on the statement. I, I, I actually would actually ask the chairman. Mr. Chairman. Through the, chair, the speaker. Through the speaker. Yeah. Is it true that National Housing Corporation 
has no proper roads? Is it true it has no proper lighting? Is it true it has no wall fence to keep off uh, you know, robbers and uh, burglars? Is it true that it lacks water as a facility? Mr. Speaker, I would also like to ask the chairman, as he was present while you were having this meeting, is it true that National Housing was even trying to grab school land belonging to Magongo Primary and uh, Gome Primary? And through my intervention, Mr. Speaker, we managed to bring back those pieces of land, yet they call it political interference. Mr. Speaker, they should know our work is to represent our people. And by representing our people, it does not mean we are interfering. We are actually doing our work. Thank you. So, Mr. Speaker, I would actually wish that you direct the committee to conduct a proper investigation, Mr. Speaker, because once we had a board which visited, a full board, you know, chaired by the former dear constituency MP, and they brought up two lists of uh, debts. Omar Mwini, you are debating your issue with... Give him the mic. And that is why they have elected me three times, because I do represent them. So I want them to be investigated because they have no capacity to collect rent. And furthermore, Mr. Speaker, it is not their duty to collect rent. They are supposed to build and sell those properties so that they develop more for people to, to occupy, Mr. Speaker. They are actually forgetting even their roles. Mr. Speaker, I think I would go on and on, but then we have a schedule in this house. I want to rest my case there and to seek your indulgence, Mr. Speaker, for this committee to conduct a thorough investigation and bring a full report to this house. I know three managing directors who were actually fired because of mismanagement of funds. And this is because of rent collection. Thank Mr. Speaker, you. I rest my case. Johanna Ngeno, you've heard uh, before you, you've heard what the member is saying. What he's saying is that he's not happy with your statement.